richest women in the world. When you think about the wealthiest women in the world, the names of famous celebrities like Rihanna, Kim Kardashian, or Oprah Winfrey come to mind. You're not wrong. These are some of the richest women in show business. However, the wealthiest women in the world are not the ones you see on the screens. They are billionaire business women running big, powerful companies with tens of billions of liquid cash in their names. Some of these women owe their fortune to the inheritance left behind by their wealthy parents. At the same time, some got so rich after divorcing some of the richest men in the world. Regardless, they have worked hard to lead and grow their various businesses and maintain their wealth statuses. Here's a list of the top 10 richest women in the world. Abigail Johnson. Starting at number 10, we have Abigail Johnson, an American businesswoman and entrepreneur. She is the chairperson of Fidelity Investments, a finance company established by her grandfather, Edward C. Johnson II. Abigail has managed to lead the company to new heights, and today, Fidelity Investments is the second largest mutual fund company in the U.S., with just under $4 trillion in assets. Apart from being Fidelity's CEO, she is also on the Committee of Capital Markets Regulation. Her wealth comes from her 24.5% stake in Fidelity and her investments in cryptocurrency. In 2018, she introduced Fidelity to cryptocurrency, making it possible for their customers to invest in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Today, she manages over 45,000 employees of Fidelity worldwide, and her assets are valued at $21.6 billion. With this, she is the wealthiest person in Massachusetts, the richest woman in finance, and the 10th richest woman overall. Abigail spends some of her money donating to causes she's passionate about. For example, she donated generously to fund Hillary Clinton before the 2016 presidential elections. In her free time, she enjoys skiing on her multi-million dollar property in the Alps. Iris Fontbona. Next, we have Iris Fontbona, a Chilean businesswoman. She inherited wealth from her late husband, Andronico Luxic, who built a multi-million dollar empire in mining and beverage businesses before he died in 2005. After his death, his company possession was passed to his wife and their three sons. Iris is the chairman of Antofagasta Place, which owns several copper mines in Chile, and she owns stakes in other family businesses which her sons have. The family brewery is the largest in Chile, they own the second biggest bank in Chile, and they own a shipping company, one of the largest in the world. Iris Fontbona also owns several hotel chains in Chile and a luxurious resort in Croatia. She lives in Chile to oversee her several business ventures, but she owns many properties around the world. Her real estate portfolio alone is worth almost $100 million, and she is also a well-known philanthropist in Chile. Today, her net worth is estimated at $23.4 billion, making her the richest person in Chile, the third richest person in Latin America, and the ninth richest woman in the world. Suzanne Clatton. At number eight, we have Suzanne Clatton. She is a German businesswoman who gained her fortune from her many lucrative investments and inheritance from her father and grandfather. She inherited Altana AG, a billion dollar company that deals in pharmaceuticals and chemicals, and she went on to make it a world-class pharmaceutical company. As of today, she has bought the remaining shares of Altana, making her the company's sole owner of Altana. The company, which has an annual revenue of over $2 billion, is Suzanne's largest source of money. Her other sources of wealth are her many investments, for example, she owns a 21% stake in BMW, the world's largest luxury car brand. She also owns 27% of SGL Carbon, 23% of Nordex, a wind turbine developer, 20% of Entrust Data Card, and a passport and credit card manufacturer. Today, her net worth is $24.7 billion, making her the wealthiest woman in Germany and the eighth richest woman in the world. Mackenzie Scott. At number seven, we have Mackenzie Scott, popularly known as the ex-wife of Jeff Bezos, the second richest person in the world and founder of Amazon. Although the former couple had a joint stock, Mackenzie was granted a 4% stake in Amazon after their divorce and 20 million company shares. This is the source of most of her wealth, 
In July 2020, when Amazon's shares were broken at $3,300 each, McKinsey became the richest woman in the world, a title she held several times that year. However, she has never held that title for long. McKinsey is an avid philanthropist dedicated to donating half of her wealth in her lifetime. She has donated more than $14 billion to charities worldwide, and her admirable charity work has given her the title of the richest woman in the world on different occasions. Regardless, she has a real estate portfolio worth several million dollars, some of which she won from the divorce and others she got on her own. Now, McKinsey focuses on her work as a blogger, writer, and philanthropist. As of 2023, her net worth is estimated at $27 billion, making her the seventh richest woman in the world. Gina Reinhardt. Next is Gina Reinhardt, an Australian mining magnate and the daughter of Lang Hancock, the founder of Hancock Prospecting. Her father was a high-profile iron ore explorer but his mining company was passed on to Gina after his death. When she became CEO and chairperson of the company, Hancock Prospecting was in financial turmoil. However, with her great skills as a leader and businesswoman, she has managed to build a company into one of the largest mining companies in the world. After establishing herself as a mining magnate, Gina decided to branch out into other spheres, like agriculture. In the 2010s, she bought several cattle stations, and now she is one of the largest cattle producers in Australia. Today, she has a net worth of $27.3 billion, making her the richest person in Australia and the sixth richest person in the world. Miriam Adelson. Next is Miriam Adelson, an Israeli-American physician and billionaire who inherited her fortune after the death of her billionaire's husband, Sheldon Adelson. Sheldon was a billionaire tycoon who owned several mega casinos and hotels. At the time of his death, he had a net worth of $40 billion. He passed most of his wealth to his wife, Miriam, and her fortune landed her a spot on the richest women in the world list. Miriam Adelson does not work actively in any of her late husband's businesses, as she has endeavors of her own, like her medical career. She is also an avid political donor who has donated hundreds of millions to conservative political parties in the U.S. and her home country, Israel. She was a supporter of Trump's presidency and she donated a total of $200 million to support him during and after the 2016 presidential elections. Today, she is worth about $34.5 billion and is the fifth richest woman in the world. Jacqueline Mars at number four, there's Jacqueline Mars, the daughter of Forrest Edward Mars Sr. and granddaughter of Frank C. Mars, founder of Mars Incorporated, a famous chocolate and candy manufacturer. Mars Incorporated produces some of the most popular and best-selling chocolates in the world, Snickers, M&Ms, Mars Bars, Skittles, and more. And the heiress to this multi-billion dollar candy empire is Jacqueline. The company also produces the popular Orbit gum, as well as pet foods such as Pedigree, Nutro, and Royal Canine. Although she has been retired from the company for a while now, Jacqueline owns one-third of the company and her assets and shares are still worth several billion. Today, her net worth is estimated at $38.3 billion, making her the fourth richest woman and probably the richest female retiree in the world. Alice Walton. At number three, we have Alice Walton, the daughter of Sam Walton, founder of Walmart. Both in the US and on an international scale, Walmart is one of the highest grossing retail companies and Alice Walton and the rest of the Walton family oversee it. Alice spent her younger years preparing to take over the company from her father and uncle. She carved a path for herself in finance and after years of having a successful career in the field, she relocated to Arkansas to take over the family business. Under her leadership as CEO of Walmart, the Walton family has become the richest non-royal family in the world, with a total net worth of at least $200 billion. Alice owns 13% of Walmart's stake, and along with the rest of her inheritance, she has a total net worth of $58.8 billion. This makes her the third richest woman and 19th richest person in the world. Julia Flesher Koch. At number two, we have Julia Koch, 
an American businesswoman and philanthropist who inherited her fortune when she became the widow of David Coe. After his death, Julia and her three children inherited a 42% stake in Coke Industries and a fortune worth at least $50 billion. Until his passing in 2019, David Koch was a business tycoon and co-owner of the second biggest private company in the world. As the Koch company's annual revenue and stock value continue to rise, Julia's net worth also continues to increase. Now she has a net worth of $59 billion, making her the second richest woman in the world. This automatically made Julia one of the wealthiest women in the world. Julia uses her wealth to help society by donating millions to multiple charities. And like most rich people, she has an impressive collection of luxurious items. At the top of the list is her real estate portfolio, worth more than $100 million, not to mention her exquisite art collection. Francoise Betancourt Myers. Claiming the number one spot is Francoise Betancourt Myers, the heiress to the multi-billion dollar French beauty and cosmetic company L'Oreal. She's the granddaughter of the company's founder, Eugene Schuller, and she inherited the company and the rest of her fortune when her mother passed. Under her leadership as CEO, L'Oreal has remained one of the best-selling cosmetic companies in the world, even in the face of fierce competitors like MAC, Huda, Dior, etc. Today, Francoise's family still owns over 33% of the company's stake. While this is the primary source of her wealth, Francoise Betancourt Myers has other sources of income. She is an established author who has published best-selling books on religious topics. Apart from the company, Francoise also inherited an inviolable real estate portfolio from her late mother. Some of these houses are located in the grandest locations in France and across the world. As of January 2023, her net worth is estimated at $86.9 billion, making her the richest woman in the world. And there you have it, the richest women in the world. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching.